The topic for today's video is windowing and clipping, including viewing transformations. First of all, we have to discuss about the world and device coordinate system. The world coordinate system is used to define the position of objects in the natural world. It is a right-handed Cartesian coordinate system in which we describe the coordinates of the picture to be displayed. This system does not depend on any screen coordinate system. Sometimes the complete picture is too large and complicated to show on the screen and we need to show only a small part of it because of which there comes device coordinate system. The device coordinates are 2D pixel coordinates within the render target with 0,0, 0 in the upper left corner. One arrives at device coordinates by applying the viewport transform to the normalized device coordinates. Now what is windowing? To perform a viewing transformation we select a finite world coordinate area for display which is called a window. In computer graphics a window is a graphical control element. It is a rectangular area in world coordinates. Viewport An area on a display device to which a window is mapped is called a viewport. So in simple terms the window defines what is to be displayed while viewport defines where it is to be displayed. When a window is placed on the world only certain objects and part of objects can be seen. Points and lines outside the window are cut off. This picture represents the window and viewport, the world coordinates and device coordinates. In the left hand side, you can see the world coordinates which are ranging from xw minimum to xw maximum are the x coordinates variations and the y coordinate variations are yw minimum to yw maximum. Similarly, in the device coordinates, xv minimum to xv max are the viewport ranges of x coordinate and the y coordinate ranges are yv minimum to yv maximum. The window is, re, uh, is clipping only a certain part and only the part which is shown in the window is shown in viewport and the rest of the part of the picture is clipped away. Now to show or the viewing transformation is mapping picture coordinates from the world coordinate system to display coordinate systems. To perform for, uh, the viewing transformation, following transformations needed to be done. Converting world coordinates to viewing coordinates. Then we have to normalize viewing coordinates and then converting normalized viewing coordinates to the device coordinates. This flowchart represents all the things that I have said that before we have the world coordinates then viewing transformation is done to get us the window and viewport and then it is converted to normalized for device coordinates and the need to convert it in the normalized device coordinates will be discussed further and then the workstation transformation is done. The need to convert the coordinates into normalized coordinates. Well, the different display devices may have different screen sizes. Size of the screen in pixels increases as the resolution of screen increases. So, when a picture is defined in pixel values, it will be displayed large in size on low resolution screen, while it will be small in size on high resolution screen. So to avoid this and to make our program a device independent, we have to define the picture coordinates in some units other than pixels. And this device independent units are called normalized device coordinates. In this the lower left handed corner is the origin of the coordinate system that is 0 comma 0 and the upper right corner is 1 comma 1. This transformation which maps the viewing coordinate to the normalized device coordinate is called normalization transformation. Below is the diagram of normalized viewport. Now 
the derivation to convert the trans uh, to convert the world coordinate system to normalized coordinate system is given here in the above is the world coordinate system where you can see uh, the ranges xw minimum to xw maximum and yw minimum to yw maximum is the area of the window and there is a point in the window xw comma yw now our goal is to represent this window in the viewport of normalized coordinates and that point xw comma yw will take the place xv comma yv in the viewing coordinates of the normalized system the relative placement in the viewport and window must be equal therefore uh, this equation is given as xv minus xv minimum upon xy max minus xv minimum is equals to xw minus xw minimum xw max minus xw minimum similarly it is for y coordinate system as the relative placement is equal and by solving these above two equations we will get the point of xv and yv in the normalized coordinate system as xv equal to xv minimum plus xw minus xw minimum multiplied by sx and similarly for yv here sx and sy are the scaling factors which are given below you can see it after we have converted the viewing coordinates of the world coordinates to the normalized coordinates now we have to display them on the device screen now the tra this transformation of object description from normalized coordinates to the device coordinate is called workstation transformation so in total what we have to do is first we have to convert the world coordinates uh, from window and clip it and present it in the viewport of normalized device coordinates and then we have to transform it into viewpoint a viewport of device coordinates this is the whole transformation procedure viewing transformation procedure so now in workstation transformation there are three steps which have to be done which are mentioned here the first the object together with its window is translated until the lower left corner of the window is at the origin then the object and the window are scaled until the window has the dimension of the viewport and then we have to translate the viewport to the correct position on the screen which was originally its position so we will derive the matrices for all these three things so that the workstation transformation can be given so uh, as i said in the previous slide first we have to translate it to the origin the viewport so that represents the matrix t and minus xw minimum and minus yw minimum are the points that has to be shifted in order to get the viewport to the origin and then we have to scale it which is represented by the s matrix and then we have to translate it back to its original position which is which is shown by t inverse and here sx and sy are the scaling factors whose values are given in the right side and so the overall transformation matrix for w is given as uh, this w is equals to t dot s dot t inverse by putting the values from the above and when we multiply it we will get the transformation matrix so in the end the complete viewing transformation is now first we have the view coordinates in the world coordinate system then we will convert world coordinates to viewing coordinates then we will convert it into normalization transformation as we all know that different display devices have different pixel size and resolutions as we have discussed then the normalized coordinates are converted to the device coordinates through the process of workstation transformation which is first we have to translate to origin then we have to scale it and then translate back to its original position and in the end we will get the device coordinates which were which are going to be displayed in our screen thank you